Hello, my name is Marcia Ostashevsky, and it's my pleasure to serve as the founding director of the Center for Sound Communities. We are an arts-led social innovation lab at Cape Breton University in Nova Scotia, Canada. This is a very special occasion, not only for Lasana Diabate, but also for the Center for Sound Communities to have this opportunity to present an artist of his caliber. It was a privilege to record and to produce his album Bala, and we are indebted to Lasana for his willingness to share his knowledge and his gifts with the Cape Breton and wider Nova Scotian communities through workshops and performances over several visits over many years. As concerts are, this one is the culmination of much effort and commitment and perseverance but without doubt, even more so than the cliche conveys. Lasana's album was completed in 2020, exactly one month before the coronavirus changed life for everyone, everywhere around the world. The month of March 2020 was to have meant a time of travel and public performances for Lasana, bringing Bala on tour to Australia. And then the global pandemic hit. And so we find ourselves a year later presenting a virtual concert. For all its differences, it's still a major event that relies on the generous dedication of many. And I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the effort and expertise of all. First, project manager Eric Escudero, who orchestrated its promotion and presentation at the same time as the CD release website unveiling, and social media campaign. As just one part of a wide-ranging community-engaged research project, this virtual concert relies on specialized knowledge within our field, and Eric's studies in ethnomusicology at Memorial University in Newfoundland enable him to apply his scholarly perspective to all aspects of this endeavor. Other members of our project team include Tiago Dalek, digital design specialist who designed and constructed the Bala website, Hamid Reza Salehyar, Bala website content developer and research assistant, Bala website content researcher and contributors Wade Pfaff, recently graduated from Dalhousie University with a focus on African-Canadian histories and musics, and University of Toronto Ethnomusicology graduate students Vanessa Romao and Andrew Jansen. Additional team members include Doreen Yavorsky, Bala CD cover designer, writer, editor, and website design contributor, African-Canadian historian at Dalhousie University, Dr. Afua Cooper, faculty researcher and mentor, Dr. Michael Frischkoff, ethnomusicologist at the University of Alberta, faculty researcher and mentor, and Dr. Laura Risk at the University of Toronto, who provides co-support of research interns. I'm grateful to the Center for Cape Breton Studies at Cape Breton University, especially its director and Cape Breton University Vice President, Dr. Richard McKinnon, for facilitating the recording of the Bala CD and the Center's excellent recording engineer, Chris Jones, as well as Mary Beth Carty, who worked with the Center for Sound Communities at the time of the CD's recording as its assistant producer. My thanks also to Dr. Lucy Duran, scholar of West African musics at SOAS, University of London, who provided me mentorship through the production process based on her experience both as a music producer and as a scholar of West Africa. I also very much appreciate the work of award-winning filmmaker and associate professor of music at McEwen University, Michael B. McDonald, for curating the video for this concert and the vastly accomplished John Kurtzer, whose work in the music industry more than equips him here for his role as Master of Ceremonies. Thank you both very much. Finally, I come back to Lasana Diabate and what it means to me to have met him, worked with him, and to have been in his extraordinary musical orbit. Lasana brings immense cultural knowledge to this project and to all of our work together. Knowledge that he shares with the full authority accorded him as a griot or a jelly. He also brings joy and exuberance, always evident in his performances, but perhaps most of all when he's teaching children and youth, as he did for us in Cape Breton 
and as he does at home in Bamako with Fauli Lakana, the association he established for the purpose of safeguarding and teaching traditional music. It's thanks to John Kurtzer and Lucy Duran, who nearly 10 years ago invited Lasana to join our Singing Storytellers project at the Center for Sound Communities, which led to these many years of collaboration with Lasana. I feel blessed to know Lasana and to have opportunities to work with him and learn from this very gracious man who with great care and humility teaches through his music as well as through his wise, thoughtful and kind manner. In addition to the purely musical aspect of our association with Lasana, there is another meaningful element, the far reaching influence and implications of sharing sound cultures. Bala and all the other aspects of this community engaged research project are significant for at least two reasons. In the words of one of our project team members, Hamid Riza Salahyar, the album empowers a musician who aims to define his local music culture in an increasingly globalized world beyond the boundaries of his own tradition. And just as importantly, it gives Canadians a unique opportunity to listen to and learn about musical sounds they might not be accustomed to. Beyond the ethnomusicological significance of the project in terms of community empowerment, the entire process is a form of dialogue between two cultures and communities, which ultimately benefits both. Now, please allow me to introduce my dear friend, colleague and mentor, John Kurtzer, to MC this event. Thank you, Marcia. My name is John Kurtzer. I'm very happy to be hosting the event today. We're celebrating the release of a new recording by one of Africa's greatest musicians, Lasana Jabate. He's a griot from Mali, and he comes from generations of hereditary musicians, the griots, that carry the cultural history of the Mandate people who live not only in Mali, but also in neighboring Guinea, Senegal, and Gambia. Lasana plays the bala, one of the main instruments of the Mandate griots, along with the kora harp and the ngoni lute. The oldest of these three traditional instruments, the bala, also known as the balaphone, is a 22-keyed wooden xylophone with individual resonating gourds which has been played by jelly musicians for several hundred years in West Africa. The xylophone is a very popular instrument throughout Sub-Saharan Africa and includes the Chopi Tembila in Mozambique, the Degarti and Lobi Gil in northern Ghana, the Shona Marimba in Zimbabwe, and Sunufu Balafone played in southern Mali. Lassana Jabate began playing the bala at a very young age, learning from his father, Jelisori Jabate. As a teenager, he became the accompanist of famed female griot singer Ami Kwate and became known as a skilled bala accompanist for traditional griot singers, including master singer Kasamani Jabate. Over 20 years ago, I first heard Lasana in performance playing with Kora Master Tumani Jabate as a member of the cross cultural group Kulanjan. It's led by Tumani Jabate and Taj Mahal. He was also a key member of Tumani's Symmetric Orchestra and he toured with them internationally. A decade, a decade ago, Lasana founded Trio de Cali that has collaborated with the Kronos Quartet on the acclaimed La Dilikon recording in 2015. And he's also composed for Kronos Quartet's 50 for the Future program, for whom he composed Sunjata Time in five movements. I was very lucky to record Trio de Cali for my own radio show at Womax in Spain in the fall of 2016 and a year later to bring Lassana and the group to Seattle for a memorable concert. A remarkable performer, Lassana plays two balas together, tuned to semitone apart, so that he has the ability to play in any key and with any instrument. He has demonstrated this collaborative ability with Kulanjan, the Mali Cuban supergroup Afrocubism, with he was a member, and for his recordings with the Kronos Quartet. Today, with this concert, by Lassana and Jabate, we're celebrating the release of his new album, simply titled Bala, his first of pure Bala performances, recorded in the city of Cape Breton at the Center for Sound Communities in 2019. It's a direct result of his many visits to Cape Breton and his work at the center. Lassana first visited Cape Breton in the fall of 2014 to take part with singer Hawa Jabate in the Singing Storytellers program, which I hosted at the University of Cape Breton. 
This new recording features traditional music, as well as new, original compositions that were inspired by Lassana's visits to Cape Breton. The Bala recording is now available for sale through CD Baby, and all sales will support Lassana during these very difficult COVID pandemic times. The new recording will also be made available for free to Afro-Canadian community centers in Nova Scotia and beyond, which will be distributed in conjunction with future educational programs around the region. Now it gives me great pleasure to present to you in performance the wonderful Lasana Chibate. <laughs>